The Carboniferous, a geologic period in systems spanning 60 million years ago from the end of the Devonian to the beginning of the Permian periods. The name originating from England, referring to the rich deposits of coal that occur there. A period starting with a more tropical, humid climate than what we have today, where seasons, if any, were indistinct. I'm actually jealous. It, it sounds like a goddamn tropical paradise. But one of the more fascinating things about this period has to be the extensive coal forests and the Carboniferous rainforest collapse, killing a bunch of advanced life in this time. So uh, stick around for this episode, ladies and gentlemen, as we travel back in time on Down the Line. Alright, how's it going, everyone? I'm your host, Pete, and you've been listening to Down the Line, a podcast where we talk about the timeline starting from the very beginning, further past the known, into the unknown, and browse the interesting theories that the scientific minds of today, much smarter than myself, have to say. Before we jump in, this episode goes out to Random Gamer XL, a subscriber who said this was their favorite period in the Phanerozoic Aeon. I hope you enjoy the episode and it goes to your expectations. So uh, now let's get to the info. The Carboniferous began around 359 million years ago, and lasted until around 299 million years ago. It is split into two different subsystems, the Mississippian and the later Pennsylvanian. At this time, vast forests began to cover the globe, which would eventually be laid down and become the coal beds characteristic of the Carboniferous stratigraphy evident today. These coal forests were essentially just forests that had vegetable matter that decayed, making enormous deposits of peat or turf that later became coal. If you get the chance, you can actually look up an artist's depiction of what they might have looked like. It's really cool to have actually uh, to have pictures of these extensive and really lush forests covering the globe from so long ago. Uh, terrestrial animal life was well established by this period, amphibians being the dominant land vertebrates. Arthropods were also pretty common, with a lot of them being much larger than today, like the Meganeura, a genus of extinct insects from this period. They resemble modern-day dragonflies, but like dragonflies were huge and scary as fuck. I believe that the arthropods were larger at this time than in the modern day because the atmospheric content of oxygen was much higher. Actually, it was highest in geologic history. The later half of this period has glaciations, low sea levels, and mountain building as the continents had a metaphorical wrestling match, colliding to form Pangaea. The Carboniferous rainforest collapse, as we spoke about earlier, occurred at the end of the Carboniferous, killing major amounts of marine and terrestrial life. It was believed to have been brought on by global warming. I'm assuming much more drastic and scary than what we picture today. So now let's move on to the Mississippian subperiod, which is also known as the Lower or Early Carboniferous. The Mississippian lasted from around 360 to 320 million years ago. The Mississippian is named after rocks from this age, which are found around the Mississippi Valley. In Europe, the Mississippian and Pennsylvanian are basically grouped together and sometimes just called the Carboniferous period and Lower Carboniferous instead. So now let's look into the first age of the Mississippian, the Trinasian. It lasted from around 359 to 347 million years ago. The Trinasian was named after the Belgium city of Tournai, and it was introduced in scientific literature by Belgian geologist André Hubert Dumont in 1832. The beginning of this age starts at the first appearance of the Conodont Siphonodella sulcata within the evolutionary lineage from Siphonodella praesulcata. Damn, I think I'm getting good at pronouncing this shit. Well, in the past, the beginning of the Carboniferous was marked at the first appearance of the Ammonite species, Gattendorphia subinvoltuta. The Trinasian also marks the first appearance of tetrapods, and sharks start to radiate due to the extinction of the placoderms. So now we move on to the Vissian, which lasted from around 347 to 331 million years ago. This age was also introduced by Dumont in uh, 1832. He named this age after the city of Vissi, in the Belgian province of Liège. This age marks the first appearance of the Fusilinid species Eoparistaphella simplex, Fusilinida being an extinct order of single-celled phyla. Okay, so the last age in the Mississippian is the Supercofian age, which lasted from around 331 to 323 million years ago. It is named after the city of Supercov near Moscow in Russia. I think it's the capital of Russia. This marks the first appearance of the conodont Locria cristiformis. And now we get to the Pennsylvanian, which is also known as the Upper or Late Carboniferous Period. So we're actually about halfway done. This subperiod began around 323 to 299 million years ago. 
The first age of this subperiod is called the Bashkirian and lasted from around 323 to 315 million years ago. It's named after Bashkiria, the then Russian name of the Republic of Bashkorstan, in the southern Ural Mountains of Russia. The Bashkirian was marked by the first appearance of the Kanadant species, and I apologize if I get this wrong, Declin <laughs> Declinognathnotus nodiferus. I don't know if I got that right. I don't even, I don't know what, how I could get that any more right. Next, we got the Moscovian, which lasted from around 315 to 307 million years ago. It was named after Moscow, then a major city and now the capital of Russia. This age was marked by the first appearance of the Conodon Declinognathnotus Donetzibius and the Fusilinid Algetovella Algetovica, which I, I don't know who's fucking naming these. You guys know by now, this is all so fucking ridiculous to me. I don't even, I don't even know what to say about it. The second to last age of the Carboniferous is called the Casimovian, which lasted from around 307 to 304 million years ago. The Casimovian saw an extinction event that occurred, that occurred around 305 million years ago, and is referred to as the Carboniferous Rainforest Collapse, which we teased in the beginning of this episode. This extinction event altered the vast coal forests, which at the time covered Euro America. The rainforest collapse may have fragmented the forest into isolated islands, which in turn caused, uh, caused dwarfism, and shortly after the extinction of many plants and animal species. Probably one of the more interesting extinct events in my opinion so far. This and the uh, oxygen catastrophe from around the beginning of life, those are my two most like interesting extinction events that have happened, I think, since we started. So now we get back to some more facts about the Kosmovian Age, uh, the extinct event occurred in. It's named after the Russian city of Kasimov. This stage marked by the first appearance of the Fusilinid biozone of Obsoletus Obsoletus, which is super fucking lazy in my opinion, naming, and uh, I don't even know how I'm going to pronounce this. Prototitis Cities Pseudomontiparis, or possibly the first appearance of the Ammonite genius Parish Umite Ditis. God, these are all so fun. I always think I like I get good at these, and then like, you know, newer ones come, and I'm like, what the fuck? How do you pronounce these? Well, last but not least, we got the uh, Gazillion, which lasted from around 304 to 299 million years ago. It was named after the Russian city of Gazelle. It marked the first appearance of the Fusilinid genera Daxinia, Jagulites, and Rugofusilina or the possibility of the first appearance of the Condon species, Ideognathodus Simulator. <laughs> I guess with that, we reached the end of our episode. So I really hope you enjoyed. I know that there was so much fucking crazy pronunciation in this. I probably got so many of them wrong. I looked up a bunch of them, and they're, they're just such weird words that, like, there's not a lot of different definitions for them. It's super fucking weird, but I really hope you guys enjoyed. We got one more period in the Phanerozoic Eon, and then we get to the uh, Triassic Eon. You know, with the uh, dinosaurs and shit. Like Jurassic Park. It's definitely going to be a blast. So I hope you'll join me in the upcoming episodes. Or down the line. <laughs>